Hello everyone, this is John from Canon Coffee and today we have a Breville Oracle Touch with us in the shop and pretty much it had came in for a large buzzing that happened when you plugged in the machine whether that was off, on, brewing, steaming um, there was a continual buzzing in the machine so when we opened it up it turns out that your board which or all your power goes to um, was starting to give out uh, messing with the valves which is where that humming and the really loud buzzing was coming from. Also, we while we're in there, um, or it took us a while to repair this machine because uh, Breville slash Sage, they're both uh, the same company, they're an Australian uh, company, so the parts took a while to get through here, through customs, to our shop. Also, during uh, that, we're waiting for probes to come in. There, these are the water uh, level probes that go inside of your boiler of the ones that were in there were shot so they're leaking through near the top of course messing with everything that's inside the machine also your o-rings went out during that um, or when it first came in your o-rings were also giving out so we replaced all the o-rings on this machine also and that's about it so we're going to test the machine out starting with making espresso we start by grinding coffee Camping. Now we're ready. As you can see, looking great. Just gonna dust it off a little bit. Put this in the machine. And now we are going to get our cup and pour a double shot. Now the first couple seconds is gonna be pre-infusion and then it's gonna start pushing out. Of course I didn't mess with any of the settings on the grinder. So if it comes out too fast or too slow, you of course mess with that. Back. It looks like we're running a little fast, but that's okay. Looking good. It's like a nice shot. Now we're going to just hit the steam one and make sure that the steam one's working. As you can see, it's steaming pretty well. The only reason it stopped is because I don't have a container with the water here. So it would have kept steaming until your desired temperature. You can do manual too. Also cleaned a little bit of the steam one out so it wasn't uh, steaming too pretty. Yeah. And that's about it for this repair. If you like this video or any of our other videos on our channel, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.